Good day, everyone. This is Maggie B for Apps for iPads. Today, we're taking a look at an app called Office Time. This is a productivity app that allows you to keep track of billable hours and or expenses for your clients or projects for those clients, whether you own your own business or you work for someone else. It's also, even if you're not billing hours, a great way of keeping track of the time that you spend during the day to make yourself more productive. What we're going to do today is just very quickly walk you through the app. Uh, they do offer a free trial, so if it's something that interests you, what I suggest is you stop by the website where you see our full review and we'll also show you how you can get that free trial. When you come into the app, you see that it gives you the options of timesheet, projects, categories, and reports. Projects, of course, being either a client's name or the name of the project that you're working on for them. Categories would be what you're doing for them during the day, whether it be administration or research, development, whatever it is. Those are normally things that do not change. You're usually doing the same thing just for different clients. So once you've set those up, you just tap and use them. It's very easy to start a session. Just tap on the new session. You see you get a timer. It gives you the exact time of day and date that you're starting this. Then it's going to ask you what project you're working on. It's as simple as this to set that up. It's going to ask you what you're doing. Again, very easy to set it up. Wants to know how much you're going to be charging per hour. You can add or that if you'd like, if that is uh, apropos. We're going to add a project. We're done. So if we pick that project and we say to start, it's going to start timing how long we're working at that particular job for that particular person. Now you can see in the settings you can set multiple timers on or off. As we work it's going to keep um, track of those and not until we hit stop is it going to actually stop. There are a number of reports that are available to you that you can generate from this app. We're not going to get into those here, but we're going to show you those on the website in our full review. You can add a new expense at any time. It will, again will ask you what project you're working on, the category. You can very easily put in notes. You can say you're having coffee with a client, you took them to lunch, you are paying for the cab, whatever it is, and it keeps track of it for you. It asks you how much it is, and then you just say it's done. So you see the difference in the timesheet because we have a test going on here where we're doing testing. And we have an expense, which we forgot to put in the amount, but we can do that very easily. Like so. You can sync this with your Mac or PC if you set it up on your Office desktop. The app will work on an iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch. It's nice to be able to have it all the information back there at the office when you get there. So if you're sitting in the back of a cab and you are on the way to the airport and you're working while you're in the back of the cab, you can keep track of your billable hours while you're doing that and you can sync it right back to the office if that's something you prefer to do. You can also generate reports. We're not going to get into all the types of reports that you can do. We will list those on the website in our full review. You can also export what is on the screen. It will email it to you and what I want to show you is that when you go into settings you can Tell it you want to send it in Excel, in numbers, or regular text, and that will determine how it sets up the format for you. You can include or not the ID column when you export the report, the screen that you're working on. So we come back in here, we see that uh, we've been working for 2 minutes and 53 seconds, and uh, it will then allow me to 
stop it and you can see that I worked for three minutes and I spent twenty dollars so there you have it office time stop by the website for our full review this is Thank you for apps for iPads I will show you how to get that free trial and I'll sync with you soon